Okay, HQ, and today's tutorial is gonna be a fun one. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna build um, an app similar to um, the app created in the uh, HBO series uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, if you didn't watch that yet, I would highly recommend you to watch that series. And in this um, series, um, one of the characters uh, builds an app which is called um, Hot Dog, Non Hot Dog, or the app is called Seafood, I think. And what it does basically, it just takes in a picture from the user and tells the user if the picture that was uploaded is a hot dog or just if it's not a hot dog. And this tutorial is just going to be a fun little tutorial showing you how to um, use an external API within your Bubble application and um, basically integrate other services um, and build a, a functioning mobile web app. So what you want to do, you want to create a new Bubble app. I'm just going to call it a hot dog no code okay and i'm just going to click on create a new app and uh, we'll be brought into our um, application so let's go ahead and start with a blank page let's close our system and let's make this the width of this page uh, to let's say 400 pixels uh, because it's going to be a mobile application okay and we're going to say uh, make this element um, Fix width actually okay. Uh, it's gonna be mobile like this, okay, 380, and it's actually decreased the height a bit. We don't need such a big height, so I'm gonna go here under height. Let's have like 800 maybe, okay. And we're gonna use this here as the basically the main part of our application, and we're gonna put everything on this page, the index page, and we won't need anything else. But I'm not gonna focus on the UI too much. I'm actually gonna go straight to plugins, and I'm gonna add a plugin. Uh, which is going to be called API Connector by Bubble itself, okay, and will allow us to connect external APIs to our Bubble application. And the API we're going to use for this is the Microsoft Computer Vision API, which is available via Rapid API, so you can easily sign up via Rapid API, create your account, it's freemium, so up to a certain amount of API calls, you'll be able to use this for free. Um, and yeah, um, you'll be brought to this page if you select the Microsoft Computer Vision API, and all the information and um, basically instructions on how to use it uh, are displayed here. So first of all, let's go back to uh, Bubble and let's add another API here. I'm going to call this um, Hot Dog Analyzer, okay? Um, and the endpoint we're going to use is the Analyze Image URL endpoint. So we're going to analyze the image by providing the API with a, file, with a URL of an image, okay? And we're going to use this host, so this is going to be the endpoint. We're just going to copy that, okay? Go back to Bubble, and we're going to paste that. So we're going to go to this here, the first name. So just get, or let's expand that, and let's call it get. And it's going to be a get request, so we're going to get data, actually. Let's check, is it a get request? No, it's a post request actually, so I have to go back, change that to post. Let's paste that URL here. And this is going to be um, our endpoint. Let's actually add the HTTPS to the beginning. And we also have to add the basically the end of the, um, uh, the URL. So what we're just going to add is going to be analyze like this. Okay, so this is going to be the endpoint we're going to use for this. Um, and yeah, we're going to use this as data actually, okay? Data type is going to be JSON, okay? And let's go ahead and define the body type. If we go back to Rapid API and scroll down, uh, you can see the, the structure that um, this API requires. In this case, just uh, curly brackets and then just the URL and then of course the URL of the image. And we're just going to copy that actually, just copy that, go back and paste that here under body JSON. Let's add some spaces, okay? Gonna be easier to work with then. Um, and instead of the static URL here, we're just gonna add um, a parameter or a dynamic value. I'm doing this by using these uh, arrows here, so like this. Okay, and we're just gonna input something here. So this is gonna be our image. And as you can see, um, this is gonna be um, a key. We have now have a key automatic generate. So the image we can provide it with a value, can set it to private or not private. In this case, we don't want it to be private. Okay. Uh, let's actually use the same URL here just as a testing point. So I'm just going to take that URL here. Let's go back and paste that under value. Okay. Um, and the last thing we need is just our header. Okay. So our header will contain our API key. So we're just going to copy that. Let's scroll up first. By copying this, this string here first, let's just copy that and paste that under keys. Uh, this has to be uh, small. So let's just like this API. 
and then key and the value is just uh, your uh, API key so you just want to copy your own key and paste that here this can be private now and let's initialize the cost I'm gonna click that and bubble will call and as you can see um, it was successful we are returned a, um, a set of values so return values uh, we return categories uh, and various information let's actually take a look at raw data so if we show raw data we can see the, the categories. Each category consists of a name and a score. So the name says what kind of image is that basically, okay, and how certain is the API. So the higher this number, so it's from 0 to 1, it's just probability. So this is seven, this, uh, uh, the API is 75% certain that the image we just provided it with uh, is an image of a person, a portrait image, okay. Great, it looks quite nice. So let's save that now. And now we can go ahead and start building our application. Okay, so I'm going to go to design uh, and let's keep things quite simple. I'm going to change the background color to uh, something red, maybe like this. Okay, and we're going to add a text at the top, which is going to say hot dog or not hot dog? Question uh, mark. Let's maybe also add an emoji. Okay, and I'm gonna just make that white. Let's make that bigger and bold. Great, and I'm just gonna center that like this. Great, let's make it actually a bit smaller so it fits. Okay, 30. Um, great. Okay, and we're just gonna add another text beneath that. Okay, this text is gonna say, um, please upload an image and we will tell you or we will let you know if it's a hot dog or not okay again I'm gonna make this white a bit bigger maybe and center that again I'm gonna position it like this and beneath this of course we want to have a picture uploader so let's add a picture uploader or search for one and drag that here okay like this and let's actually change the style of that as well I'm going to remove the style um, the text should be white let's actually have a background flat color like this um, white as well so the text is then black and we're going to say this is also Arial and again click to upload an image okay and um, and now let's go ahead and build our workflow okay so first of all, I want to create two pop-ups. So let me just search for pop-up, and I'm going to drag one on top of here. Okay, we're going to call this pop-up um, success. Okay, and we're going to add an icon here uh, with a check maybe like this. Okay, and we're going to say this should be green, a bit smaller, uh, and a text beneath that, which is going to say hot dog. Okay, so this is shown when the user has uploaded an image of a hot dog. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this pop-up and paste it. And this one we're going to call um, fail. Okay, and it's going to be a cancel icon or maybe exit or quit. Uh, no, what can we use? Let's use yup, this one and let's make it red. And this is going to say not hot dog. Okay, and uh, let's close that again and we can now go to workflows and let's add a new event. We're going to say, okay, when an input's value is changed, in this case our element picture uploader, it's actually the only element we have that can be used, we want to go to plugins um, and I actually have to change something. I have to go back to plugins, the use as to action. We actually want to use it as an action. Okay, so let's go back to workflow and now we have access to that under plugins. As you can see, hot dog analyzer get. Okay, we want to analyze some data or analyze an image. Which image do we want to uh, analyze? Not this one, but we want to analyze a dynamic one. So let's click insert dynamic data. This picture uploader's value URL. Okay, and what you always have to do is just add a HTTPS uh, before that, like this, and that should work fine. Okay, and then we want to show a pop up. Okay, so we want to first of all animate our pop up success via a transition, let's say slide down in. And now it's the important part only when result of step one hot dog analyzers categories name contains hot dog. 
Okay, so in the data, the API returns in a list of categories which it thinks the image is about. If this category, if one of these categories is hot dog, we will show the success pop-up. If that's not the case, let's just copy this workflow and let's change the pop-up to the failure pop-up. And we're going to say if result of steps uh, categories uh, does not contain hot dog. Okay, so just to summarize, if a user uploads the image, we run the analysis, we have access to the results of this first step in the subsequent steps, and we're saying, okay, if whatever is returned here, the category's name contains hot dog, we want to show the success pop-up. If not, we want to show the failure pop-up. And that's basically it, to be honest. Um, quite simple, but let's actually go ahead and preview this whole thing. One small thing that we have to do is... Um, add one of the optional parameters, which is the visual features, which um, basically indicates what kind of visual feature types you want to return, because for us, uh, actually the tags is gonna be important, not a category. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy this list of visual features we wanna have, and we're gonna use the one visual feature. So let's go back to our plugins tab, and add a parameter, which is gonna be called visual features, okay? And for the values, we're just gonna paste what I copied, and this is going to be a query string, okay, so just check that box. Let's initialize our call, okay, and now, as you might see, uh, we have a lot of mo uh, a lot more data returned, um, in this case, the tags, which is actually the list of data we want, so name, fast food, and the confidence, whereas the category, there's always just returned one value, okay, and we're going to use the tags, actually, so we slightly have to modify uh, our application, so I'm going to go to workflows, and I'm going to say, okay, so we just have to go inside here and we have to change um, not the result of step one's category, but this time the tags name contains and we need hot dog with a space. This is the structure that is returned. So same thing here, we're gonna go, okay, not the categories, but actually the tags name doesn't contain hot dog with a space. And this should be it now. So let's uh, go ahead and preview our application. I wanna click on preview here. And uh, as you can see, this is our application looks uh, okay. Uh, the way we designed it, uh, it's fixed width as, as you can see, so made for a smartphone or as a mobile application basically. But let's just go ahead now and upload the image. So I'm going to click here and I have four images here, two of a hot dog and one a waffle and another one is a car to commenter. So let's go ahead and start by choosing our hot dog here. I'm going to choose that, select that, okay, and let's see what happens. So first of all, the image is uploaded to our database and now the API call is made. Let's see what is returned. Awesome, as you can see, the pop-up hot dog is shown because our app has correctly identified, yup, this is an image of a hot dog. But let's just to make sure that we're not being tricked here, let's upload the image of a waffle now. Okay, and let's click open. Same thing. Um, let's analyze this application. And as you can see, this is not a hot dog because it's a picture of a waffle. And uh, the API says, I don't see anything regarding a hot dog in this picture, so we're not going to return this as a tag. And as you can see, we've built a very simple um, image classification app in less than 20 minutes using no code at all um, and just some knowledge of APIs, but that shouldn't be too hard. Again, let me just double check again. So I'm going to uh, upload this hot dog image now. So let's upload that. Um, And as you can see, uh, this is again an image of a hot dog. Our classification app works perfectly fine. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, we've connected an external API, in this case the Microsoft Computer Vision API via Rapid API into our no-code bubble application, creating a mobile app, which tells you if an image is a hot dog or not a hot dog. This is of course um, a fun app that you can use to showcase what no-code can do. But of course, the use cases, uh, the real world use cases are uh, almost unlimited. You could build a real classification app, um, which not just says if it's a hot dog or not, but actually tells the user what the image he or she is looking at might be. Uh, as, you, as you saw, we, we are returned confidence values, which is a probability of how likely the image is what the API thinks. Um, but yeah, you can connect any kinds of external APIs. Uh, such as image classification, face classification, recognition, and so on. And uh, yeah, that's basically it regarding this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something and enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.